Hi and welcome to this unboxing and hands-on review of the Blitzwolf BW VR3 headset. This headset was sent to me by banggood.com and I'm going to check it out for you. So, Blitzwolf VR, I have never heard of them before. So this is the very first time that I get in touch with this and it's great because I'm not biased at all. I'm going to check this out for the very first time and well, we'll, we'll see together if this headset is worth its 30 US dollars asking price. And here it is. Wrapped up in bubble wrap, the headset and the packaging is very simple it's it seems to be yeah here is only the headset and we also have the manual here let's have a look at the manual and this is not the manual this is just some kind of little card to give you some information if you're happy then you should review it probably and if you're not happy they will give you the contact information yeah that's that's a nice touch so at least you know you're not alone if you have any questions for this Blitzwolf headset. So now here is the manual. Everything is in English, which is great. Okay, so it seems that we have IPD adjustment and also a focus wheel, which is fantastic. So I really had no idea whatsoever about this headset. And uh, for me, basically, this is finding out about this headset for the very first time together with you now. Okay, and here also we have a QR code. Hopefully this is the QR code for this headset and not just sending us to their website. Anyways, I'm going to check this out later and I'm also going to give you the QR code for this headset in the description below. Okay, this is the head strap and oh my goodness, this is very, very nice. This is of very high quality. Have a look at this part here. This goes to the back of your head and we have some extra padding also for your forehead. And you can tell this is definitely good quality. Especially when you compare this head strap with the one of the Ritec VMAX, which was really not good enough. Well, anyways, this headset cost 30 US dollars and you can tell where the extra money went into. Definitely good quality. And this is the part where you would put in your phone. I will later check out if the Pixel XL fits into it, but from the first feeling, yes, it should fit there without a problem. Okay, oops, what is that? Oh, I see. I had no idea that you could take off this part. So, so you can take, uh, take off the front cover and it's held in place by a magnet here. Very cool. So I had no idea actually that this goes off and it just came off when I was playing with it. And well, it's a magnet here and there are two holes for the camera for any VR application in the future and also of course for ventilation. Nice. So now let's check out what else this headset has to offer. As I've seen in the manual here we have focus wheels. And the interesting thing is that each eye has its own focus wheel. So you can individually adjust the focus of these two lenses which is of course great for people who don't have the same near or far-sightedness on both eyes this is definitely great and then also here we have the um we have the ipd adjustment no let me just check let me let me show you this part here the ipd adjustment yes here it is so for people who would like to adjust the interpupillary distance, you can do that with the Blitzwolf VRBW VR3. That's it for the unboxing part, and now let's go to the hands on review of the Blitzwolf. So, I've just unboxed the Blitzwolf BW VR3 VR headset, and so far, the very first impression was really good because. 
it has the IPD adjustment, it has the focus wheel, but for each individual eye it has the focus wheel, which is great. And the strap, it looks very, very comfortable, of high quality. Definitely much better than, for example, what the Ritec VMAX has to offer. But now I'm going to check out if this is actually a comfortable device to wear. And to do that, as always, I'm first going to wear them without the phone, just to see if I like the feel of the headset itself. And then later I'm going to play some daydream games just to see about the FOV and, and so on and so forth. But now, first of all, also as always, let me remove the lens cover. Can you tell, can you see that here? I also have to see it myself or I cannot remove them. Here. Here are the lens covers and the first one is off. And the second one will be off as well now. Okay, good. So here's the big moment. I'm going to wear the Blitzwolf BWVR3 here now. And I'm going to tell you my very first impressions. All right. That feels good. It feels really good. So first impression, very, very good. What I can tell you, yes, you can tell the strap is good. The strap is much better than, for example, what the Ritec VMAX has to offer. But well, it's it's double the price, right? The, the Ritec VMAX cost 15 US dollars. This one cost 30 US dollars. And you can tell um, the build quality is better. Is it double as good? Well, it is certainly better. And uh, yeah, you can tell, especially here, this strap is so much better. This is a quality product. And for the feel of the headset, yeah, it feels great. So the first improvement or the first thing that is better as compared to the Ritec VMAX is there's more nose room. So for the Ritec VMAX, it's a very super comfortable headset. However, I do feel that my nose was bumping against the Ritec VMAX, but here, no, there's lots of um, space. I can even put my finger still on my nose. So that means my nose will not bump on this headset. So this is definitely a comfortable headset. Is it more comfortable than the Ritec VMAX? Well, for the nose, yes. And in general, this is really comfortable. But let me just um, compare again to the Ritec VMAX. So the Ritec VMAX with its, with its cheapy design still manages to have this beautiful face mask, which is still winning, I would say. It's really good. However, unfortunately, the nose room is not really great. And for the, um, for the Blitz Wolf, we have this kind of leather, which is comfortable, very comfortable. Let me try again. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Well, the big advantage is that your nose will feel better. So this is a really, really comfortable headset. Nice. Well done, Blitzwolf. Okay, good. So now that we know that it is comfortable i'm of course going to try and um, play some daydream with it i have already found the qr code unfortunately the qr code for the split is not in the manual so you have to find online and i found it already i found several qr codes for this one um and i have now just tried the first one i have coupled it i've scanned it with my with my pixel before and now I'm going to try out Daydream. So let's give it a shot. Before I go into VR though, I would like to show you that my Pixel XL fits into the Blitzwolf without a problem and it's very stable. Look at this. So this, this works very nicely. But now let's go into VR. 
Okay, so here we are right now. And my very first impression is that the FOV, the field of view indeed is bigger than on the Daydream View. And the great thing is that unlike the Bobo VRZ 4 or 5, you don't seem to be so far away from everything. Like in the Bobo VRZ 5 and 4, you do have this huge FOV. However, it feels like you're so far away. But for this, this looks valid. This looks very comparable to the distance as if you had the daily view on. However, the FOV is bigger. Cool. So now let's check out some app. How, how about Volcan here? And again, the oh no, here, uh, yes, and again, the phone will fall asleep. That always happens with these non daydream compatible phones. So I have to get it out and I have to wake it up again. But now we should be able to play. does look great. Very clear, great lenses. And indeed, it looks very, very nice. Yeah. So I also played this with the Ritec v next And well, everything in the writing BMX, everything is very, very close to your face. But here it's it's pretty, it's very comparable to what you get with the Davian View. However, you do have a bit larger FOV. So, let me do an educated guess. So if the daydream has around 90 degrees FOV, then I suppose that this should be around 100 degrees. So this is very comparable to the FOV that you would get in a Gear VR. However, this is only my educated guess. I'm going to measure it later and then I will let you know. So this works great, but now let me check the Eclipse Edge of Light. This Eclipse Edge of Light is really perfect to check because in Eclipse you, you wear this helmet and if it's too far away the action, then you will see the helmet like 10 centimeters off your face, like in the Bobo VRZ5. So let's see how it is here with the Blitzwolf. And again, oh, this is annoying, but what can we do? Okay, now it should work. Yes, here we are. Please connect the controller, no problem. Here we are, and again resume game. And here we go, oh yes, okay great. This simply looks as if I wear the helmet in real. Nice, so this is very, very comparable to what the Daydream View has to offer. So you're not too far away. It doesn't feel like your helmet is super huge, like in the Bobo VRZ5. And it also doesn't feel as if you don't wear a helmet at all, like with the Rytec VMAX. So this is really just about right. Cool. And also the hand is about the right size. So here everything is kind of right, which is very cool. So indeed, I do have the right QR code as well, which I will share with you in the description below. 
okay, I have to take care not again to be completely sucked in by Eclipse, especially now since this is a headset which has all the right settings going on. Nice. Perfect. Simply perfect, yes. This is indeed a great headset. Okay, cool. So, after I finish playing for a few more seconds of Eclipse Edge of Light, I will give you my first impressions of this headset. And still, for all of you who have not played Eclipse Edge of Light yet, why? <laughs> why didn't you do that? Okay, yeah, this is good. So even if, I'm, if I move my head, everything stays exactly at its place, so this is very nice. It's exactly the right QR code, and these are really high quality lenses, and this is a really, really nice experience. Okay. Cool. Great. So let me now get off this headset and let me tell you my first impressions here. So I have just played two Daydream games, Vulcan and Eclipse Edge of Light, and both experiences were great. First of all, it has a bigger FOV than the Daydream View. I have now measured it in the meantime and it turned out to be 103 degrees, which is of course very good, better than what the Daydream View has to offer and actually exactly the same as the Gear VR 2017 edition. So a very nice FOV. The price at $30 is a very good one, especially for what you get here. Um, a high quality headset with first of all IPD adjustment and um, a fo focus wheel for both eyes so if you happen to not have the same um, far-sightedness or short-sightedness on both eyes if you don't have exactly the same degree you can adjust it which is nice and later we're going to go to the website and see exactly um, what kind of measurements you can adjust here then um, yeah inside you have this kind of construction which holds your phone. It, it was able to hold my, my Pixel XL very comfortably. And you can even, here are some adjustments. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can adjust where the Blitz Wolf is in touch with your phone so that you will not hit the power button, for example. So this is a very nice touch, for example. So you can simply adjust this, this thing here and um, make sure that your Blitzwolf is not pressing on your power off button, which is great. Then if you would like to take this off here, you can. This is so that the phone would not overheat or if there are any kind of AR applications in the future that your camera can can uh, look out of the headset so this is nice and of course we have this very nice strap which is of very high quality and yeah the face mask which is very nice too let me check if we can take it out I think we cannot yeah but that's all right so anyways, this material, you can easily clean it with just any wet cloth. So, so there's really no need to actually get it out of there. All right, yeah, so that's, that's it what I can tell you here, a really great headset. Now let's have a look at the, at the website. Let's see what they have to say about this. So here we are now, this is Banggood, the website where I got this from. Blitzwolf 
VR virtual reality glasses. Yep, improvement. So, what is improved? Lens upgrade, compatible with larger dimensions. Okay, 6.3 inch is the maximum size that your phone's screen is allowed to have to still fit into this headset. Then, yeah, individually adjustable lenses, exactly. This is really good. This is very, very useful. And here, here, yeah, this is what I was just talking about, adjustable rubber pad. So they have these rubber pads here, which are adjustable so that you can set where are your power and volume buttons so that you don't hit them, which is indeed a nice touch. Then we have superior construction and performance. Okay, it, this consists of 89 sets of precision parts. And 130 times drop test, oh my goodness. <laughs> they have the best marketing department in China, incredible. And 72 hour high temperature test. All right, okay, now this is more interesting. 42 millimeter Mitsubishi PMMA spherical FOV 100 of 108 degree lens. Well, actually it's more like 103 degrees, what I just measured, but that is still good. Left and right independent focal distance adjustment. Adjustable head strap, yeah. Very nice head strap. Adjustable rubber clamp, yeah, this one we had already. Perforated soft leather. Improved soft artificial leather material for enhanced comfort and durability. Yeah, this indeed looks looks as if it's like very of high quality and will not break so fast and it it is comfortable. Adjustable pupil distance. Okay, so the IPD you can adjust it from 55 to 65. Yeah, that's that's what I also had the feeling of. Uh, my IPD is 64, and once I had put it to to the biggest to the biggest IPD, I have the biggest IPD that was a, about right. I didn't have to adjust it actually. Perfect. So and the adjustable focal distance is 56 to 60 millimeters. The headset can also cater to up to 500 degrees of nearsightedness. Okay, great. So now we would have all of the... Oh, here's even the QR code, great. Great, so now we talked about the Blitzwolf. BWVR3, let me go back to the studio. Yeah, so that's it. I really like this headset, it's pretty fantastic and you can buy it from Banggood for $30, link is in the description down below. Good. Stop. Before I end this video I have to check out one more thing and that thing would be can you use the Blitzwolf with your glasses. So I nearly forgot to do that but now I'm going to do that. So glasses on and now let me check if we can use this. All right, yes, you can. That is the answer, yes. You can use it, look at this, and yep. So, the answer is yes, you can use your glasses with the Blitzwolf BWVR3. So, that's it for this unboxing and hands-on review of the Blitzwolf BWVR3. I hope you enjoyed this hands-on review. If you did, give it a thumbs up and of course, if you have not subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.